Ever catch yourself just staring up at the night sky, completely mesmerized by the sheer beauty of it all? Bathed in the soft, ethereal glow of a billion distant suns, it's easy to feel a sense of calm tranquility washing over you. It's as if the universe itself has hit the pause button, and we're all just sitting quietly, anchored among the infinite cosmic arena. But what if I told you that this feeling of stillness, this sense of cosmic serenity, is nothing more than a grand illusion? Yep, you heard it right. Despite what our senses might have us believe, we're not just idle spectators in this cosmic spectacle. Far from it. In fact, we're right in the thick of the action, zooming through the cosmos at mind-boggling speeds that would leave even the fastest jet plane in the dust. And we're not aimlessly wandering either, oh no. We're part of a beautifully choreographed cosmic ballet, a dance that's grander and more intricate than anything we experience in our daily lives. A dance that's been unfolding for billions of years and will continue to do so for billions more. Feeling intrigued? Because today we're setting off on a journey that will reveal the real dynamic movement of Earth through the galaxy. So, stay tuned. Our Spinning Earth Alright, let's start with a fun fact that's going to spin your world, literally. Did you know that right now, as you're watching this video, you're spinning at over 1,000 miles per hour? Yep, you heard it right. Well, it's all thanks to our planet's dance move number one, rotation. Now imagine a line passing through the North and South Poles. That's the Earth's axis. And our planet does a full spin around this axis roughly every 24 hours. This spin, or rotation as the science folks call it, is what gives us our day and night. When your part of the Earth is facing the sun, it's daytime for you. And when it's facing away, well, it's time to hit the sack because it's nighttime. But here's where things get really interesting. The Earth isn't spinning upright. Nope, it's actually tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees relative to its orbit around the Sun. This tilt, combined with our planet's spin, is what gives us our seasons. So, we have our planet's funky tilt to thank for those summer beach days and winter snowball fights. And get this. The speed of Earth's rotation isn't uniform everywhere. It's fastest at the equator and slows down as you move towards the poles. So, if you're on the equator, you're whizzing around at over a thousand miles per hour. But if you're chilling at the North or South Pole, you're spinning much slower. Crazy, right? Now we've covered our spinning Earth, but did you know we're also on a joyride around the Sun? That's right, Earth's joyride around the sun. While we're spinning like tops, we're also orbiting the sun at a speed of about 67,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a speeding bullet. Now this orbit isn't exactly a perfect circle. It's more of an ellipse or a slightly squashed circle. This means that sometimes we're a bit closer to the sun, and sometimes we're a bit further away. But don't worry, these changes are perfectly normal and are part of what gives us our yearly cycle of seasons. We've got a fun fact for you. Even though we're zooming around the sun, we don't feel this motion because it's constant and in one direction. It's kind of like when you're in a car on a smooth highway. You know you're moving, but as long as the speed is constant, you don't really feel it. And here's another mind-blowing fact. 
Our year, the 365 days we all know and love, is actually how long it takes for the Earth to complete one full orbit around the Sun. So, when you celebrate your birthday, you're actually celebrating your personal trip around the Sun anniversary. Well, we've covered our spinning Earth and our joyride around the Sun, but did you know that our entire solar system is also on the move? That's right. The Sun's Galactic Waltz Our Sun, along with its family of planets, asteroids, and comets, is doing a galactic waltz around the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Now this isn't just any ordinary dance, this is a cosmic waltz that's happening at an incredible speed of 514,000 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's over 143 miles every second. Mind-blowing, right? But here's the kicker, even at this breakneck speed, it takes our solar system about 230 million years to complete one orbit around the Milky Way's center. That's what we call a cosmic year. So, in the grand scheme of things, humans have been around for only about 0.01% of a cosmic year. Talk about feeling young. And while we're waltzing around the galaxy, our Milky Way is also part of a bigger cosmic dance. Well, it's part of a group of about 54 galaxies known as the Local Group, which is also moving through space. So, our sun isn't just sitting still in the sky, it's leading us on a cosmic waltz around the galaxy. The Milky Way's Cosmic Voyage Did you know that our entire Milky Way galaxy is also on a cosmic voyage through the universe? And this isn't any ordinary voyage. Our Milky Way galaxy, with its 100 billion stars, is moving through the universe at a speed of 1.3 million miles per hour. Let's put that into perspective. That's over 361 miles every second. But even at this breakneck speed, our Milky Way galaxy is just one of billions of galaxies in the universe, each with their own cosmic voyages. And all these galaxies together form what we call the Cosmic Web, a vast network of galaxies connected by filaments of dark matter. You can say it's kind of like a cosmic internet with galaxies as the websites and dark matter as the cables connecting them. The Role of Gravity Now you might be wondering what's leading this dance? Well, the answer is gravity. Now we know gravity is the force that keeps our feet on the ground, but it's also the force that keeps the Earth in orbit around the Sun. It's like an invisible string that pulls objects towards each other. The bigger the object, the stronger its gravitational pull. Now gravity doesn't just work on a planetary scale, it also governs the motion of stars within galaxies, and even the motion of galaxies within the universe. It's like the ultimate cosmic choreographer, guiding the movements of everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxy clusters. And even though gravity is incredibly powerful, it's also incredibly weak. It's the weakest of the four fundamental forces of nature, yet it has an infinite range. That's why even though the Sun is 93 million miles away, its gravitational pull can keep the Earth in orbit. The Impact of These Movements all right, now we've covered our spinning Earth, our joyride around the Sun, our Sun's galactic waltz, our Milky Way's cosmic voyage, and the role of gravity. But what does all this mean for us? How do these cosmic dances impact life here on Earth? 
Well, let's start with the most obvious impact, day and night. Our planet's rotation on its axis gives us our daily cycle of light and dark. This cycle surely has a profound impact on life on Earth. It influences, well, everything from our sleep patterns to the behavior of countless species. Plants use the cycle of day and night to regulate their growth, while many animals use it to determine when to hunt and when to rest. Still, the impacts of our cosmic dances go far beyond just day and night. Our orbit around the sun gives us our yearly cycle of seasons. This cycle influences our climate, our agriculture, and even our culture. Think about it. Without our journey around the sun, we wouldn't have the changing seasons that bring us everything from the blooming flowers of spring to the falling leaves of autumn. And yeah, there's the tilt of our planet's axis. This tilt is responsible for the changing length of our days and nights throughout the year. It's why we have long sunny days in the summer and short dark days in the winter. This changing pattern of sunlight influences everything from our weather to the migration patterns of birds. But did you know the impacts of our cosmic dances don't stop at our planet's surface? Yes, they extend far out into space. Our movement through the galaxy changes our view of the stars. As we orbit the sun, different parts of the sky come into view. This is why we have different constellations visible at different times of the year. Well, let's not forget about our Milky Way's cosmic voyage. This journey through the universe brings us into contact with cosmic rays and other particles from deep space. And these particles can influence our planet's climate and even drive evolution. Speaking of evolution, what does the future hold? for our cosmic journey. The future of our cosmic journey. Well, the plain truth is no one knows for sure, but there are some educated guesses we can make based on what we know about the universe. For starters, we know that the universe is expanding. This means that over time, galaxies are getting further and further apart. So, in the distant future, the night sky might look very different than it does today. Well, we also know that our sun won't shine forever. In about 5 billion years, it will exhaust its nuclear fuel and expand into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets. And eventually, it will shed its outer layers and become a white dwarf, slowly cooling over billions of years. As for our Milky Way, it's on a collision course with the Andromeda Galaxy. But don't worry, this won't happen for another 4 billion years. And when it does, it's unlikely that individual stars will collide given the vast distances between them. Well, that's it for today. The next time you think you're standing still, Remember the cosmic dance you're really part of. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What was your favorite part of our journey? Do you have any mind-blowing space facts to share? Drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic content. Thanks for watching.